So, uh, so with that, let me just talk a little bit about free fall, and um, just so that people have something to look at as you're going through the lecture module. So, one item that's part of the week two module items that's meant to give you a good sense of what is the free fall and what is not free fall are the, the answers, the modal answers to your conceptual questions. So I'm not going to click on it right now because then it'll display the answer for everyone. <laughs> so I'll just let that be. You can access it when you can. And uh, I'll match that with the answers you got. That will give you a uh, first uh, decent sense of how, uh, how well uh, you understood the free fall that we are describing in uh, physics. And, and I talked about free fall a little bit in a previous semester's um, session. <laughs> and uh, it's linked from the lecture, uh, the chapter readings and lectures page, but I kind of uh, hid it as this uh, link rather than um, full-fledged embedded video, uh, mainly because it's a uh, um, question to, um, it's, to what? it's a little bit too short and um, I <laughs> so, you know, I didn't want to uh, disrupt the flow of the page. Um, and really all that this page, uh, this video gets to is what is our almost mathematical definition of free fall? So when you look at section 3.5, uh, we do define free fall. And I think I pointed out towards the uh, end here. Um, so the, wait, do I, does the text, let me go to the textbook. Uh, textbook should give a definition of free fall. And it's a, uh, um, so, I, as I say in the video, uh, as much as I try to register equating mathematicians with the physicists, because our approaches are different, there are some ways in which we physicists act like mathematicians, and how we handle free fall is one of them. We have a definition of free fall. The definition of free fall, which is that. Um, uh, which describes the motion of an object falling in a gravitational field. I don't think that's quite uh, sufficient. Let me find it here. Ah. So this is the definition of free fall. An object falling without air resistance or friction, or actually any other force, is defined to be in free fall. And in the way we define free fall, what's more important is not actually the fall part, because if you look up above, you will see that we define fall kind of weirdly. So the falling, um, it doesn't quite help you connect our definition of free fall to your intuition. Because falling in the context of free fall does not mean the body is moving from greater height to a lesser height. What does falling mean? It's almost meaningless. When we describe free fall, uh, what's more important is the free part. So object falling without air resistance or friction. And I guess in some sense, what we mean by falling is that this object is not touching anything else. So, um, so that's what free fall is meant to describe. And th there's a, an aspect of with this that's uh, a bit stilted, it's awkward, <laughs> it's uh, confusing. And uh, that's because we are trying to describe free fall without having all the tools to actually describe free fall. And the tools <laughs> that we need to describe free fall, uh, that's actually uh, being introduced this week. You really need the concept of force to describe to have a clear distinction of what contexts you might describe it as free fall and what contexts it's not a free fall. And so 
and it's it's awkward because when we do kinematics, I try really hard uh, to uh, not to refer to forces. I try to go through a course in linear order so mm -hmm. that as we are talking about kinematics, I don't talk about anything that we haven't already introduced. Um, so, so you will see in the lecture, I don't really talk about forces last week because we haven't introduced the forces. We are introducing them this week. And really to describe free fall adequately uh, and without confusing circumlocution, you needed the idea of force because really the situations that you would describe as free fall are the situations where the only force, the only potential possible force on the object is gravitational force and no other force. So as you go through this week's material, you will see a, a lecture on types of force. So free fall is the circumstance where the only type of force you see being exerted on your, um, on your body is is gravitational force. So we describe all these different forces. And once you come to a conclusion that uh, for a given situation, that the only force acting is gravitational force, then great, you have a situation of free fall. And to help you with that intuitive feel, uh, this uh, um, page actually has some videos of examples of free fall. So this is one of them. Uh, let me just uh, skip ahead to uh, the portion where it is in free fall. She's about to go into free fall. So when she comes off the uh, floor of the airplane, she's in free fall. Now, in this particular perspective of the video, you can't really tell if she's moving up or down. At the beginning portion of this motion, actually, she's still moving up. It's in the portion where the airplane is doing the parabolic arc as they are moving up but accelerating downward. That's when she's uh, the, all the passengers are beginning to be lifted up. That's uh, uh, that's the beginning of that uh, free fall. But I'm highlighting well, not this. I'm highlighting this portion as free fall because you can tell because she's not touching anything else in the airplane. And you can kind of guess that the movement of air in the airplane is slow enough that air resistance is going to be negligible. This is free fall, uh, where she's, uh, there's no other possible source of force on her other than gravity. And there's one other example of free fall on this page. Uh, it, linked here for reasons for this week, because uh, this week is really focused on free fall. Uh, astronauts on uh, space station, they are in free fall. And you can see because other than when he's briefly touching the ground, uh, let me just skip ahead. She's, uh, he's okay. Now he's not hooked into anything. He's just floating. That's when he is in free fall. So just before he, wait, uh, yeah. So just before he pushes the other person, they are in free fall here. Both of them are in free fall. Well, together as a system, they are in free fall. So, um, so yeah, that's uh, I think the full description of what it means for an object, person, or anything to be in free fall. And what's important there is the free part, because by free part we mean no forces. Uh, other than possibly gravity. <laughs> I guess that's the fall part. So, so yeah, so, um, so I think the, in the last two weeks material, the best example of uh, material that we cover under free fall is projectile motion. Uh, it's that motion of an object that's been launched with some velocity and then uh, accelerating under the force of gravity only. So, um, so, so that's a, um, so if you want to associate free fall with a projectile motion, that would be, I think that we okay most of the time, uh, like 99% of the time. <laughs> there might be some counter examples, but it'll be hard to find or, or I'll have to think about it. So, so yeah, I think that covers the, um, additional description of free fall, uh, what uh, situations that it covers and uh, what situations it doesn't cover. I guess um, the
the most common mistake people make are um, not thinking something is free fall because um, because it the object is still moving up. Like if I if I throw this ball up uh, while it's moving up, sometimes people think that's not free fall. Well, while it's moving up, if it's only gravity acting, it's still free fall. And the other um, mistake people make is when uh, so. If uh, um, there is a significant air resistance, then by definition, it's not free fall because it's not free. In addition to gravity, you have to worry about other forces like air resistance. So once you have to start having to account for other forces other than gravity, then it's not free fall. 